And the Hokies have another first down. They used to be called the Gobblers, but now it's Hokies. The explanation you heard earlier is out of some old cheer or chant they had, and they like it. And if those folks around Blacksburg like it, that's good enough for me. Seems to inspire their football team, so the combination of the fans liking it and the effect it has on the team is very good. First down, Virginia Tech. Roll out by Casey. Tight end. It. There it is. Out to the 50, 45. Purdom moving the big tight end. And he's out of bounds. Deep in Miami territory. Bob Purdom, the tight end, number 90. Driven out by John Swain, the cornerback, number two. That's a nice looking play. They rolled out to the right. The tight end, Purdom, delayed and then came across the grain, across the other side of the field. The linebackers didn't pick him up. There you see him making the catch, carrying the ball in the left arm away from traffic. Does a good job, a big play. He can move for a big man. Yes, he can. Very good looking play. So it's first and goal, Virginia Tech at the three yard line of the Air Force Academy. Howell, the man in motion. Williams, touchdown. Maurice Williams, the sophomore from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Puts Virginia Tech on the board and they take the lead with a minute 42 to play first quarter. That's what you call flooding the area and headed for the corner. There was not, a, there was no more room for Williams to go, but just to the inside. Here, it's coming right at you. You're going to love this. Take a look at it. You've got some people. Leeson on number 68 is out in front. Number 48, Bo is out in front. And here comes Williams. All he has to do is cross that goal line. He does that. stands okay we're gonna watch the referee and make sure Chapman makes a good fake and Johnson slips out of there on a delay pattern and he's wide open for a touchdown he's had three already and this one is number four call on Virginia Tech there will be assessed on the pickoff so there, the ball there was a stand. flag but the penalty the, will be assessed on the kickoff so it was obviously against the defense. There's the same play. He makes that really good fake to freeze alignment. Now, here's another angle. The fake drives everybody to the inside. Number four, Gay, gives his body to the university, and Chapman hits a touchdown to Steve Johnson. And you know who did the greatest job of pass blocking there ever? <laughs> First in 10. That's an objective analysis. <laughs> Pacey out of the shotgun. Look out. And Pacey on his way down. Loses the ball. Oh, it's inside the 25. It's picked up by Ken Brown. Or check that. Picks up by this. Lawrence Lewis. And it's a touchdown for the Hokies. Dwayne Knight forced the fumble. Well, he slipped, he got back up. I mean, you're talking about a tenacious effort. That kid never quit. 
further were, up the field. There were th two or three orange defenders in front of Antonio Freeman. So on a fourth and six, they're going to go for it. Down 35 to 10. And again, DeShazio is still available to run the quarterback option, the draw. He has the ball, rolling, looking, double pumping, on his feet, scrambling to the five. DeShazio, touchdown, Virginia Tech. Oh, is that a great play. Is that a great play by Maurice DeShazio? He ran out of a tackle of Steve White. And DeShazio has brought Virginia Tech back there in this football game. That's a strong run by Maurice DeShazo at the real moment they needed it. It's fourth down. It's your senior year. Your team is trailing badly. And when you need, really need a play, you come through. That is a clutch play by DeShazo. I mean, that, that, we talk about a strong run. I mean, he ran right through the arm tackle of Steve White, who's a defensive end. Point after attempt now, Ryan Williams. Five-yard line, so the Hokies, you would think, would have good field position after the punt. Texas bringing all their punt protectors in. This is a critical punting situation for the Longhorns. Keep an eye out for number 83. Where is he? He doesn't emerge on this one. Schultes hangs it up high. Green at the 41-yard line. And here comes Brian Still. Brian Still is going to take this one to the house. Touchdown, Hokies. A great job by Frank Beamer changing up the punt return. They brought Brian Still in to return the punt, and they set up the return. They looked, made it look like they were going for the block. They pulled out to set up the return, and they got the ball in the hands of their big play guy, Brian Still. Texas was expecting the rush. Virginia Tech went for the punt return, and Brian Still gets the Hokies in the end zone. It'll be third and long again. Been a long, time-consuming drive here for Virginia Tech. They've run off a lot of plays, but they need to come away at the end of this with some points. You're down 10. You've got to stay. You can't let them separate too far. They've had the ball in this drive for four and a half minutes. They had almost a two-to-one edge in the first half. Chiron Stith into the game now. Oxendine out. And third down and just more than 10. Safety blitz. Rutger Miller throws, has a man, this time it's caught by White. Touchdown, Hokies. Great job of recognition of the safety blitz, both by the quarterback and the wide receiver. Here they come, number one, the linebackers coming, number 16, Stokes. Drucken Miller knows he's gonna take a shot, but he takes it, delivers the football anyway. It's just a fly pattern against the true freshman, Brown. That ball is right on the money, and Drucken Miller knew he was gonna take a heavy shot. Nick Sorensen is now the cornerback for Virginia Tech. He hands off to Ken Oxendine, still going at the 50. Down the far sideline, might be the spark. That Tech needs to get back in the ball. Omar Brown finally stops him. Big play for Virginia Tech, maybe their biggest of the ball game. Actually, Charlie, I, I think that probably that run is more yards than they had rushing the entire first half. It's just a straight drop back, a draw play, a missed tackle there and there. And normally North Carolina a very good tackling team and Oxendine longest run of the day steps out of bounds 36 yards on the carry. Thanks Holly 31 7 Virginia Tech. We're under eight minutes now. Good to see Zao back in after that last hit. He threw another one away. Summers his second. Touchdown. Anthony Midget with the interception and the touchdown. It's the third pick for the Hokies tonight. It's really unbelievable how often this has happened to Zao. 
I mean, it's been pressure and pressure and pressure. It's forced all three picks he's thrown tonight. This one resulting in another touchdown. That time it was Jamel Smith putting on the pressure, and then it was Anthony Midget picking it off, cruising into the end zone, and this Virginia Tech defense has really stepped up tonight. Second down and nine. And a penalty flag flying, a free play. The Knowles were offside, and Vic makes the most of it. With the speed, he breaks free. Got an angle, Vic pushed out of bounds by Ty Cody, number 27. I've really never seen anything like it. I mean, he's not running against Temple here. He's running against Florida State, everyone. Watch this. Jumping off sides to the outside. Vic does a little spinorama right there. Now watch this cutback. All week, Florida said, don't, State said, don't let him cut back. There's the cutback. Now watch the speed. 4-3-3 speed. Good block by the tight end right there. Browning win. And look at that acceleration. Down pass and almost broke something there for a nice little game. Third down and two yards to go for Virginia Tech. You almost sense this if you're on defense, you'd rather have them third and two than third and ten, don't you? Yeah, three backs with him. And it's Kendrick in motion at the line. Oh, he's open. Oh, play action, and he's got a man wide open. That's Andre Kendrick. <laughs> Finally hammered down by Robert Carswell. They lined up three men in the backfield with Vic, and one of them breaks a big play on the pass. Ricky Bussell, the offensive coordinator, formerly a player at Clemson. Terrific call and then great execution by the Hokies. I mean, everybody expecting on, on third to do something inside. And Kendrick, you see him as a punter, he was wide open. The ball floated a little bit, otherwise he scores easily. He had to kind of slow up. But he was open very, very early in that route. Johnson in motion from the shotgun, Grant Knoll. He picked it up, and it's complete. Here's Davis, the speedster, to the sideline, foot race. Touchdown! Did you see him outrun the angle? Oh, they had, he had the angle on him. <laughs> Chris Hope had the angle. Unbelievable. Now, and Andre Davis told us yesterday, remember we talked to him, he said, every time I touch the ball, whether it's a catch, a punt return, a kick on return, I'm thinking about going the distance. And indeed he did there. I certainly thought Chris Holt, the free safety, who's got pretty good speed from Florida State, was going to catch him because he had an incredible angle. 55 wow. yards. <laughs> Andre Davis, the speedster. By his teammates because he knows everything. So they say. Second and ten. Harridge, that is picked off. Thrown right into the arms of Vegas Robinson. And then it's pitched back to D'Angelo Hall. And a little scuffle on the sideline. Some flags coming down. The first turnover by Air Force. And Chance Harris throws a pick, throws, throws a nutty on the sidelines. Gets a 15-yard penalty. Or unnecessary roughness. You'll see right there, Coach DeBerry saying, use your head. Chance Harris delivering a ball. Vegas with a pick. He's running the option himself. Cal came in and had a late hit at the end of that return. Marcus Vitt back in the ball game, lined up at the top of your screen, wide left. Randall comes out, the pump fake, and he looks deep for Vitt. He's got his man beat. Oh. Touchdown, Hokies! <laughs> what a wonderful throw by Brian Randall. 36 yards and a touchdown for Virginia Tech. Wow, do you think they're picking on the freshman over there and getting it to their athlete? That was the man out there in coverage number 13, Damian Hughes. We saw he had the face mask on Marcus Vick the last time Virginia Tech had the ball. Great pump fake by Randall, but Hughes didn't get beat that much, Mark. But Vick just ran by him in a fantastic throw. See, Hughes doesn't bite too much. He's still got him in his sights, but just a fantastic throw by Randall. Hughes got his three field goals, one touchdown for the Tigers. So now it's up to Brian Randall to hit a big play to keep Virginia Tech alive. 
First down, he's throwing deep. Got him. Oh, man breaks free. It's Josh Morgan. Touchdown, Tech. Unbelievable. No wonder Frank Beamer was still saying we've got a chance to win. He's not listening to us. Remember, they felt their season was turned around against Georgia Tech with 544 Woo! left in the game. They scored 22 points and won the game, and they said that's when their season turned around. It was the pump fake, fellas, that did it. The pump fake set him loose. 80 yards in 12 seconds for Morgan. Brandon Pace, who missed the field goal earlier. It was kind of struggle, which uh, Marcus Vick has a little bit. Second down and six. Play action fake. Vick pumps one. Right. Again, right in the center of the defense. This is Harper. Shakes a tackle. Harper. Got a touchdown. Interception and then a good return, and then Marcus Vick finds Justin Harper, and you know a pump fake, and then a little curl route by Harper. Big target at 6-3, and we were talking to Brian Steinspring, the offense. Marshman comes back in the ball game at uh, left tackle, replacing Brandon Fry. Kenny Lewis back in the game at tailback. That ball is tipped. Kenny Royal can throw it because it was a backward pass, wide open, the tight end at the five, and touchdown, Sam Wheeler. yards and here is the difficult thing for Georgia when the ball got tipped they all stopped but it was obviously a backward pass Eddie Royal never broke motion or stride what an excellent job by Royal this was set up the whole way they're gonna have the tight end running right down the middle Ron this was going to be a throw right from the start and just because it got tipped you're exactly right the entire Georgia defense stopped the safety had already come up and bit on the ball and Sam Wheeler a freshman tight end running wide open down the middle a lot of ground to cover Eddie Royal back deep awaiting Kyle Tucker's second punt Kick by Tucker. The trickery from the Hokies on special teams. There is a flag on the field. Another flag as Justin Harper takes it all the way. An 84 yard return. There are two flags. Formation, offense number 16. The penalty is declined. No results. Touchdown. Beaver ball strikes again. Here, here we go. I think Frank may have gotten their attention about special teams or lack of attention to special teams. Look at the right side of your screen, Rashad. Carmichael comes in. They give you a block look. So all of a sudden, you're thinking punt block. Not only do they set up a return, but they set up a reverse on the return. Look at all the Kansas Jayhawks moving less. There's your wall. Look at that wall set up. You always worry about the punt. The next play is third down and nine. Boykin's been the go-to early in the game along with Cole. Taylor steps out of the pocket and tiptoes his way inside the 10, inside the 5, touchdown! That's where Taylor was so effective against Boston College in the ACC championship game when he was the MVP. And it doesn't matter what the scouting report is. Everyone knows this is where Tyrod Taylor is his most dangerous, but he makes people miss. Ryan Manilak misses. Corey Smith misses. 
and Taylor dances into the end zone. Sometimes just great athletic plays beat all defenses. Even posed going in. The next play is third down and nine. Boykin's been the go-to early in the game along with Cole. Taylor steps out of the pocket and tiptoes his way inside the 10, inside the 5, touchdown! That's where Taylor was so effective against Boston College in the ACC championship game when he was the MVP. And it doesn't matter what the scouting report is. Everyone knows this is where Tyrod Taylor is his most dangerous, but he makes people miss. Ryan Mandelak misses. Corey Smith misses. And Taylor dances into the end zone. Sometimes just great athletic plays beat all defenses. Even posed going in. Tonight, that would happen for the sixth year in a row. Ryan Williams back in. And Tyrod Taylor's airing it out, looking for Cole, and he has it. Over the shoulder catch. And they'll mark it at the four yard line. Art Evans nearby in coverage, but it's a 42 yard gain. You cannot throw a better ball than Tyrod Taylor threw right there. And Crow did an excellent job. Danny Cole did a nice job of giving the ball, uh, giving the quarterback some room for the ball to come in. He'll keep, he'll keep the sideline and he gives himself a buffer. See how he's pushing it? And the ball is thrown absolutely perfect. Tyrod to let it rip. Back to back one yard losses. David Wilson's the back. Taylor drifting, looking for space to run. Now he's in trouble. Stayed alive somehow and throws to the end zone. Touchdown! What a play! David Wilson! And what a job by Taylor to keep it alive! At the sideline, he looks like a whirling dervish, spins around. Fires to the end zone. Like I said a moment ago, John, get this guy out of space. We just had Michael Vick a minute. few weeks ago. Yeah. Now he gets Starship 5 right here. Yeah. Watch uh, this. Marisek has him dead in the yeah. water. He reverses his field. A great sideline awareness. And you don't think these Virginia Tech Hokey receivers are good at the scramble drill, do you? That's a running back right there. How about the all-purpose skill of David Wilson, number four? Well, they've been great on third and long. Let's see how they are on fourth and long. Two deep safety. Middle of the field could be open. Thomas backpedals. Somebody's helmet comes off of the pile. Thinking about running with it. Now he will. And he got there. Boykin did a tremendous job turning from receiver to blocker at the end of that play. If Boykin doesn't do that, Logan Thomas, there's no way he picks up a first down. Watch on the left of your screen, the receiver number 81, Boykin, turn into a blocker right there in front of Logan Thomas, and that gets him the first down. We told you about three hours ago he can beat you with his arm, and he can beat you on the ground, and this time he beats Michigan on the ground. Well, sets up third. Third down and ten. Marcus Davis, his reliable target, to the near side wide. That is caught by Corey Fuller for a touchdown. Tess, as bad as the throw was on the previous throw is as good as this one is right here. You don't get any better than that. And that's why we go back to the inconsistent label that's been placed on it, because that was a fantastic throw. Corey Fuller beat him. He threw it the only place he can. And watch this, come down with it. Perfect thrown ball. Nice catch, and we got ourselves a one big football season. That's how good they were on defense this year. Now, particularly the loss at home to Duke, and Duke, of course, with David Cutcliffe had a wonderful year. How about this? Calvin Touchdown. They can oh, run him down yeah. to one. I mean, Vern, you've done a 
a long time. Did you ever think you'd call a touchdown to Calvin Klein before? No. <laughs> Ralph Lauren, perhaps. Baby, yes, Calvin Klein. Yes, his knee did go down. It was a great call by the field judge right there. But what a throw by Logan Th Thomas to a guy who was supposed to redshirt this year. Tight end Calvin Klein. It basically not even for Cincinnati. That's the big play linebacker. He's their leader. We're trying to throw it back to Brewer. The quarterback with the catch at the five and down to the three on the pass by the former high school QB and the freshman wideout Isaiah Ford after he took the pitch from Coleman and they pick up 30. And maybe the best throw we've seen today. And that's Ford <laughs> on the run, takes the big hit, but delivers a strike down the sideline. And that's Brewer. We talked about him being beat up. And you can see he looked pretty good on that play. So they'll begin this time with an empty backfield. You got Phillips in the slot on the right and Ford who's already caught us some balls in this game. They're going to check to a pass because of all these guys in the box and now you see Tulsa changing it a little bit. And Brewer's not really a running style quarterback. Quickly uh, dumps it out to Ford and there this is well blocked. And guess what? Track mate. On the angle. Can he get him? No he can't. We've got another long touchdown. 75 yards. Great blocking by the Tech offensive line. Wyatt Teller and Jonathan McLaughlin, the left side of that line, both of them knocked their men off their feet on this quick screen. Watch these 57 and 71 right there. Boom, one guy down, the other guy down. There's nobody left. That's great execution is all that is. Tulsa's defense has given up almost 300 yards passing during... Now I do think if you get some yardage here, you would uh, be thinking about it on fourth down. Evans dumps it over the middle, and they've got a first down and more. Cam Phillips inside the 15 first down. Hokies, a gain of 33. Santos Ramirez had a chance to hold it to a short gain, and he missed him. But this real nice touch on the ball. You, I've seen this a couple times where he takes a little bit off it, just put it right on the ribs. And an excellent job by Phillips with a stiff arm. Phillips very dynamic with the ball in his hand. You can see. Josh has four rushing touchdowns this year to go to his uh, go along with his 19 touchdown throws. Picked up 12 more there. They'll keep it. They'll run option left. And the quarterback into the end zone. Touchdown Hokies. Virginia Tech comes into this game on offense saying, listen, you're high flying in the Big 12, but we are going to be physical. We're going to run the ball, and we're going to use our quarterback with him right now. That's about as physical a drive as you can. And it's 7-3, Virginia Tech. He's only a freshman, but I'll tell you what, he runs this option, this RPO offense well, and you see the toughness at the goal line for the touchdown. A few times as well, does have a rushing touchdown as well, third and nine for Virginia Tech. Willis, another deep shot up for grabs. It is caught and flag is down. And on the reception is Eric Kuma. This is going to be a touchdown, Mike. He caught this ball and got it inside that pylon. Touchdown is the call. 21 yards, flag thrown right where he had made the catch. So Kuma, what a grab with. The defender right in his face. Well, like Kuma 83, he's their 50-50 guy. He goes up for those 50-50 balls. He's a big receiver, six foot two, about 230. He's interfered with by Cam Jeffries, but Kuma with great gained this year. Winners of six of their last eight coming into this bowl game. McLeese talking that ball in tight. And the burst. Virginia Tech, 43 yards. He's the key, Beth. He's the guy coming into this game that I thought would be a difference maker. And I'll tell you, Kentucky's defense has been outstanding all year long, a top 20 defense. But literally, I don't think anybody touches him. Look at this gaping hole. 
everybody's accounted for. Bad angle by Corker, the safety. And guess what? He's going to hit his head right on that the police officer there because nobody touches him all the way to the end zone. And after they, they've been going perimeter, perimeter, perimeter. Right back. You know, we talked a lot about the run game at Kentucky, but Virginia Tech is matching that right now. McLeese has been a gem in this football game. And just when Kentucky gets momentum. Hard nose football is what they're looking for. That's what you're getting. So second and eight, Blumberg play fake, gonna take a shot deep. His guy is there, and it is caught. Jaden Payu, what a catch, what a throw, flag on the play, but a great delivery for a gain of 42. Defense number five, that penalty is declined. Results of play, the first down. Now let's take a look at today's clutch delivery brought to you by Chipotle. And I'll, I'll double this one up. I'll go fake punt, and I'll go big play to set that up, Tim Hasselbeck. Uh, that's right. Clutch delivery is right. And Blumrick just does an excellent job of putting the air underneath the football on the go right.